this one will be a little bit different. It's been a while since I've talked about my, the retouching part of my work. To be completely honest, not my favorite part of the job. I love the preparation. I love creating my images in the field. I love that final phase, the color grading phase, but the retouching, not so much. With AI being everywhere right now, I thought it would be interesting to talk about what it can actually do for us now. Is it any good? How can it speed up the process? Let's talk about the Evoto AI photo editor software. do I usually do things? Now keep in mind that everything that I'm going to share here is through my perspective, obviously, and how I would actually use this software in my work. So typically what I would do, I would open my photo in Capture One and prepare my file for Photoshop if needed. Basic adjustments and corrections, and if my model shows a bit of skin, I will use the skin tone tool slash module to unify the skin tones, use saturation and lightness. Once this is done, I create a TIFF file and open it in Photoshop. This is where some of you might send the file to a retoucher. I always do my retouching myself. Now with this software, I have a third option. In Photoshop, if I want realistic results without touching the texture of my model's skin, I would use the dodging and burning technique. Now, this takes a lot of time, a lot of practice to get it right. If you are into beauty retouching, then fine. If you're not, I would forget about this. Then you have the frequency separation technique. It's much faster, but still can take a bit of time depending on what you're working on. But if your work ends up online or on small prints, it's the best technique. How does this software allow me to skip all of this? Or at least help me do my retouching faster than before? Let's open this software and see what we have. Once you have created a session, you import your images and this is what you have. On the top left, you have some presets. If you are lazy, you can directly use them. With one click, you might find something that works for you. I feel that they are a bit too much for me. So that's why I decided to go directly on the right panel and play with the different sliders. Everything is well organized and intuitive. I would use almost the same exact order to retouch my images in Photoshop with multiple different layers. With a simple slider, it targets exactly what's written. Blemish removal, freckles and acne, face mold, body blemish, you can attenuate that oily face if needed. You can even reduce the wrinkles from the forehead, the neck, the eyes, reduce the smile line, and double chin. And one of my favorite sliders is the dark circle reducer for your tired model. The next part where I will often go back and reduce the effect. This is where you can lose the realism of your images. Now, keep in mind that for the purpose of this video, I might slightly go overboard so that you can actually see the changes. I have never used the rosy complexion slider so far. On the other hand, the Unify body complexion is really useful. It helps balance everything out on the skin. I wish there was also another slider to correct any excessive redness. Another cool tool is the skin color slider. I choose what seems to be the closest to my model's skin and then dial it down to where it looks right.
Now this is the part of the video of the software that is not really made for me. I mean, I never changed the shape of the face, of the body of my model. So for the sake of this video, I'm still going to play with it. Let's go. It's really crazy how we can reduce the size of the head, change the width, the height, and the overall shape. The same thing applies to the body. I know some influencers out there that should buy this fast. And I'm going to accelerate the video now just to show you other examples. And I will also share with you some before and afters. What do you think? Once you have retouched your faces, your bodies, you can color grade directly in this software and finish your image here. Or you can send it to Photoshop and do your color work there or modify anything else that you need. I've been using this software for only a week, so you have to keep that in mind. I will probably have to make a follow-up video to see if in a few weeks or months I still feel the same. So far, I am really impressed with the results. You can make things look natural pretty easily and really dial in what feels right for you with just a few sliders. You can quickly push things too far, so you have to do a few attempts at first before getting used to the system. Would I use this software in my work right now? This is important. A few years ago during COVID, I would have said yes right away because during that time, I was doing a lot of portraits, a lot of boudoir, lingerie, which needed a lot of retouching and I was creating a lot of images. Right now, maybe not so much. If you are working with a large amount of files, if you have to retouch a lot of photos at once, something I haven't mentioned yet is that you can batch process your photos. You can apply the changes from one image and apply it to another. You can even create your own presets, helping you speed up the process. I did use the software for all my images from my latest lingerie and boudoir session. And the majority of the images from all these sessions made inside that apartment, I also used the software, so look out for that. you to know if this software is right for you is to actually test it so click on the link down below and get 30 credits for free on the house to test it for yourself let me complain just a little bit you know nothing major but I still don't understand the reasoning the reasoning behind their pricing 
The minimum credits you can buy is 1.2K, which means you can export 1.2K images, which is for me too much for the work that I'm currently doing. I, it would take me roughly two years, two years and a half maybe to utilize all these credits, which is crazy. This doesn't mean that I'm complaining about the price, you know, 1.2K is $83.88, which means that one photo, one exported photo will cost you $0.0699, which is cheap. So that's a good thing. I just wish they added the option, you know, to buy only 300 credits or 600 credits. Please, please give me back my freedom. I cannot speak for high-end retouchers. You know, when I see how fast AI evolves these days, I just can't imagine what it will produce like in six months, in a year, you know, would you use such a software for your work? And if not, please tell us why in the comments below. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. I really hope I will be able to make a follow-up to this video. Please take care and until then, have a good one.